this tribal park was initiated by the two Hanikut In and Yunusit In communities and with the support of the nation to protect the watershed. We need to protect our land to protect our animals. If we don't take care of our animals, then who is going to do it? You know, that's why we're here. We're stewards of the land. This place is unique. It's, it's uh, world class. And uh, the whole area, it needs to be protected. The wildlife and the uh, uh, cultural aspects of this area are virtually unrivaled. This is a very special place in a global context. Wild horses, what we call a dry land grizzly bear, a totally intact ecosystem, in other words, with wolves and wolverines. Now, where else does this still exist? The Tisico is prime grizzly territory, and the grizzly is a part of what had assisted us in um, protecting this land. This is one of the last places left in North America that has this kind of habitat to still support large carnivores. And for that reason, it is very special and very unique and certainly worth preservation. Uh, you have a Big Creek Provincial Park, Silas Provincial Park, the Brittany Triangle, now DeSico. So you have an interconnected system of protected areas that rival the Rocky Mountains. You've got such a wild and natural area that the bears are able to move freely from the mountaintops down to their salmon streams in the course of a day. Up here, the high mountains where we are, we're noticing white bark pine. It grows in the rock. It's often the first species to grow in certain areas. Seeds are incredibly nutritious for wildlife. The richness and diversity both of the people who, have, who use white bark and just of these other little pieces of the, of the puzzle of white bark use in the region just to me demonstrate what a, what a special and unique place this is here. So the salmon and the intactness of the watershed and the grizzly bears are all one package, they're all one ecosystem. Here we have the DeSico watershed, heart and soul of DeSico Tribal Park, and it is covered in mining claims. And this past year, a mining company has moved into the headwaters of the DeSico within the tribal park area to drill core samples for a potential mine. If this place ever becomes an open pit mine, it's, it's a disaster, it's a scary project to even think of because, uh, you know, to see go lakes right below it. We didn't agree with it. We totally went against it, but they still, without our consent, drilled nine holes. It's gonna impact our culture, our water, our fish, our way of life. We know mining and government are not going away. And that is a threat for uh, our wildlife, for our way of life. And we depend on the land and the, um, the animals just the same. Tribal Park will allow some economic development. It'll allow culture. Your people want jobs, mining, logging, but you're taking those jobs away from your future generation, our future generation. Protecting the watershed, protecting the Tosico lakes and the river that flow into the Choco River and into the Fraser River and into the ocean. We need to protect this to be able to have healthy salmon. <laughs> 